Well, we're four months into the new year, and Phantom Forces has finally released an actual decent update. And with it, some crazy rebalances, loads of new recoil and weapons, huge buffs for tons of SMGs, and even a rework to the M60. Something I thought that we pretty much were never gonna see. So in today's video, I thought we'd do an in-depth review of basically all of the new and important changes, my thoughts on the changes, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you what my favorite things about the update are, and what the new best weapons to use just might be. To start things off with a pretty tame change, we've got a rehaul of the recoil for the AN-94, simply enough. I really do like how the recoil looks on it now though, and honestly, it just makes me want to use the AN-94 even more. It apparently works really well with the 7.62 conversion as well. The M16A3 got a nerf in its recoil, so the meta that everybody was sick of a few weeks ago is now officially dead. The C7A2 also got a similar treatment as well, unfortunate though it is. The G36K had its stats completely reworked, apparently swapping it with the G36C's stats for some reason, giving it 33 up close damage and 20 range damage, and yeah, all the other stuff that's up on screen right now. The K1A got a tweak to its recoil as well, making it look nice and buttery of course, as did the MC51SD. Sadly, more camera shake to its recoil though, but honestly, I, I, I don't use it that much anyway, so. The AK-105 also got a new recoil, and it gets a lot more horizontal sway, but apparently it works really well with the bars barrel, but we'll see that just kind of in a second here, I guess. And of course, the gyro jet got a ramp up muzzle velocity, so it has those little rockets that fly out, and basically, over time, they get faster and faster. Crazy, because it starts with just 50 muzzle velocity. For reference, the average for Venom Forces is around 2,000 to 2,500, so 50 starting muzzle velocity is kind of crazy. Uh, so I'm really interested to try this out for myself and see if the gyro jet is still any good, or maybe better. The HK-51B, everybody's least used weapon, got a renamed and reworked barrel attachment in the combat barrel, tweaked recoil, and lower headshot multiplier, I, which I don't really get why, because I think this thing needs buffs more than anything else, but okay, I guess. However, that's for like the other stuff, because the main bulk of the update is going to be the SMGs, or PDWs, and oh man, is there a lot of crazy changes. The MP5K has new recoil, which looks insanely good, accuracy for the weapon is through the roof, the close-up damage was increased from 30 to 34, making it literally the best starter weapon in the entire game for new players, or like low levels. Hands down, this thing is a monster. They changed the range of muzzle velocity too, but this weapon just works so well. Of course, right as I make a video on the UMP, Stylus goes ahead and changes it, completely giving it new recoil, insanely increased close-up damage from 38 to 45, increased the torso multiplier from 1.0 to 1.15, increased the fire rate from 600 to 625. However, unfortunately, we have a decrease in the minimum damage from 21 to 19, so no more guaranteed five-shot kill without the torso multiplier, and of course, muzzle velocity that is cut almost in half. It's a little insane, but hey, still insane CQC potential, I'll take it. As said earlier, the G36C had its stats swapped with the G36K, giving it 34 up close damage and 19 range damage, and of course, all the other stats that are up on screen right here. The MP7 has its own awesome buffs, coming with an increase in range damage, increase in damage range, it has a torso multiplier, and now it has increased muzzle velocity, the new recoil system, increased walk speed, aim walking speed, aim speed, reserve ammo, and a faster reload time, but decreased penetration. Honestly, I see this whole update as a W for the MP7. We are so back. The MAC-10 got an insane damage buff from 34 to 42 up close damage, and 17 range damage up to 18 range damage, increased damage range and a torso multiplier, uh, but with the muzzle velocity, again, almost cut in half. The P90, my beautiful boy in the flesh, has gotten some buffs as well, including a new recoil, drastically increased accuracy, increased damage range, and a decent torso multiplier, a huge fire rate increase, and muzzle velocity increase, but but with some of the decreased range damage stuff and penetration that the other ones have. The MP5 got a minor update with doubling its damage range for up close damage, and of course, muzzle velocity cut down quite a bit, just like the others. The Colt SMG got new recoil, it looks fantastic, really jumpy, but fantastic, and it got a muzzle velocity decrease, the same as the MP5, from 2000 down to just 1300. The L2A3 got new recoil as well, but with similar accuracy to what it had previously, a very tiny increase in its torso multiplier, more reserve ammo, faster aim speed, but much less muzzle velocity. The MP5 SD, a weapon that doesn't really ever get much love, had a big increase in damage from 34 to 37, increased damage range on the closer up damage, however, less range damage from 18 down to 17, and muzzle velocity that has basically been cut in half. The MP10, my man, my homie, my good little dude, has a faster reload time, however, it has a slowly, like, kind of rising effect to its recoil over time, so it's almost like Counter-Strike recoil where you kind of have to pull down, and of course, muzzle velocity decreased from 2000 to 1300. This thing really needs more buffs, dude, come on. The M301 has a big 
overall buff with Lesnar Muscle Velocity, just kind of the general thing, but I did a whole video on it the other day if you'd like to check out some more specifics. The MP510 has some huge increases in the damage department, going from 35 to 45 up close damage, a 1.1 torso multiplier, increased pen from 0.8 to 1.2 studs. However, with a little worse recoil, though it has the new recoil system, so that looks cool. The UZ has new recoil as well. It looks great, but they say that it has worse overall accuracy. I think it still looks great though. Uh, the muzzle velocity, of course, was taken down a bunch, and the PPSH basically had the exact same treatment. The Foul Pair Shorty, of course, again, right after I make a video on it, has newer, bouncier recoil. Yes, as if the recoil for it wasn't bad enough, but it has an increased damage range and a slightly larger torso multiplier. The Vector, honestly, had one of the best reworks with way increased recoil, with way increased damage, new recoil, but it apparently is worse accuracy, much lower muzzle velocity, but it still has, like, really solid usage to it. I, I really do enjoy it. The way that they managed to design the recoil and everything. Also, tons of reworks to the conversions for it, like the 22 conversion is actually really good now for it. Feel free to pause and read all the changes up on screen if you're interested. The Bison also got new recoil for it, making it a little bit more accurate, but again, with decreased muzzle velocity, I I'm, I'm kind of sensing a trend here. The MP40, yet another SMG that really sees pretty much no love, has some really big overall buffs to it with higher damage range, multipliers, aim speed, and such, but again, who saw it coming? less muzzle velocity. You know, as I talk about these changes, the more that I do, the more that I really think SMGs are going to be huge in the current game and the current meta. I, th I think we're really going to see just a lot of SMGs just everywhere. Also, if you're enjoying the video thus far, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on to get notified of all new videos that I upload. I do tons of videos on the updates for Phantom Forces. I do tons of like silly videos and comparisons and stuff like that too. And also I do videos on other games sometimes. So definitely subscribe if you're enjoying the video. Anyways, up next, we got the X95 SMG. It has a new damage graph, increased fire rate, more reserve ammo, but lowered muzzle velocity and torso multiplier. Again, who saw it coming? The Tommy gun has a pretty decent increase of damage from 37 up to 42 up close damage with increased damage ranges, reload speed, torso multiplier, and of course, much lower muzzle velocity. Say it with me. One of the much more insane changes that Stylus has decided to do for some reason is to the Rama the, 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 the Rame, uh, okay, this bit's getting old. Honestly, this deserves a video of very much on its own because they have increased the damage from what was originally 25 to 34 maximum damage and 15 minimum damage increased up to 18 minimum. Honestly, Stylus has lost their minds, giving something with a thousand fire rate, three shot kill as far out as it does. And with as big of a magazine as it has. Slightly lower muzzle velocity and walk speed though, same with the aim speed, but overall, this thing is just ridiculous now. Oh boy, the BWC9A, sad though it is, it's on like it's sixth rebalance now, something like that. But of course they gave it, again, new recoil, better accuracy, a faster fire, which is good, I will say. Though with no torso multiplier and of course, lower muzzle velocity. Moving into the LMGs, of course, the M60 got a crazy, crazy rework with a first of its kind ramp down fire mode, which basically makes you shoot slower over time, completely opposite to things like the Scar Hammer and the M16A1, which shoot faster over time. Increasing the damage from 37 to 42, increasing the minimum damage, of course, from 24 up to 32, increasing the damage range, giving it a higher headshot multiplier and torso multiplier, just making it so overpowered. It literally allows it to be a three shot at all range. And uh, also it has new recoil. Ooh. <laughs> it also has a faster reload time too. The RPK got new recoil. I, I, I can't tell what to think of this. It's uh, it, it's something. The Scar Hammer has overall increased damage, which is good, but it lowers the damage ranges and it has a slower fire rate. And one of my favorites, the Stoner 96, the much unappreciated champion of its time, has been overthrown by the gods of decreased damage, being replaced by a torso multiplier. Rest in peace. Faster walk speed though, so that's cool, I guess. The chainsaw, anybody remember that? Got new recoil and better accuracy too. The battle rifles also had a few changes here, starting with the Beowulf ECR, having a new recoil, the AK-12BR, which if it's anything like I did my video on a few weeks back, is going to be one of the best weapons in the game, hands down. And the G3A3 got new recoil, better accuracy, and the FAL-50 got less camera kick to its recoil. The KS-23, and for some reason, the shotgun got a buff here, a chain rather, but it has new recoil for some reason. It looks very, um, interesting to say the least. There's actually quite a few changes to the secondaries too. Surprisingly, the G17 got a change, which I, I don't know if it's ever had one since the game's launch, but it has, uh, like less muzzle velocity and the new recoil, so that's cool. The G21, weirdly enough, got some pretty interesting damage changes. New recoil too, making it actually fairly unique looking as far as, like, how weapons work. Guaranteed four-shot pistol is kind of crazy though, honestly. And of course, half the muzzle velocity. The hardballer has a new torso multiplier and new recoil. The auto 
Gyro Mag 3 has new recoil and less muzzle velocity. The Gyro Jet has the same increase of muzzle velocity as the Gyro Jet Carbine, where over time it gets faster. However, it only starts with 25 muzzle velocity from the moment that your bullet leaves the barrel. Again, the average is somewhere around 2,000 to 2,500, so 25 is insane. The Grizzly and the M2011A1 also both got new recoil as well. Moving on to the machine pistols, the M93R got a burst functionality to it, being uninterrupted now, alongside new recoil. I think it's great. The Tech 9 has higher close-up damage, being a guaranteed four shot, but lowering range damage and muzzle velocity. The Asmi, everyone's favorite weapon, finally might be actually decent, getting a big increase in damage, damage range, but of course, lower muzzle velocity. I, I need to get a counter or something up on screen for the amount of times I'm saying that. The MP1911, rest in peace the old model, you will be missed, has much higher damage, new recoil, but worse accuracy, muzzle velocity again, being cut in half. The revolver's also got a few changes here, the MP412 Rex, having a slightly slower fire rate that honestly I probably won't notice the difference of, and slightly lower muzzle velocity, while the Maddie B, Matabi, Matabe, has a new conversion for it, which if you want to check out, I did do a video for it right here, but it also got new recoil, faster reload times, but sadly decreased damage, multipliers, and slightly less muzzle velocity. And of course the Red Hawk 44 has, uh, <sighs> just... You, you could already guess, it's less muzzle velocity. The Saiga 12U, for some reason, also got a slight increase in damage range, and they fixed a bug that I guess gave it negative damage or something, if I remember correctly. Weird, but anyway. The SAS 308 also got new recoil for whatever that's worth. A grenade got a change, that being the Semtex, you can no longer cook them. You know, that grenade that annoyingly would be stuck to a wall right next to you and then immediately explode. Thank God they finally did something about that. I love democracy. Also, a handful of attachments got some changes. I will put them up on screen right here if you want to pause and take a good look at what they've done. Honestly, this update is kind of huge now. I think that we're going to see so many SMGs. They're just going to be everywhere because there are just so many great changes in this. I'm super excited to check out the M61 because as of this recording, I have yet to check it out. But I think that my favorite change and what is going to be probably one of the best weapons to come out of this update is going to have to be the MP5K. That's going to be super huge for newer and low level players. I'm super hyped about the change overall though to this entire game. Well, that's pretty much it for the update. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know your favorite changes as well as if you have a new favorite gun out of it. I'm really thinking I might as I go and I try everything new for myself. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed, of course, consider subscribing with notifications on to get notified of all new videos and all of the updates that come out for Phantom Forces. If there are any other games that you'd like to see me make videos on, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to help support the channel like these amazing people up on screen, consider becoming a channel member with the link in the pinned comment and description below. Thanks for watching. Check out my other Phantom Forces videos up on screen now too, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace dudes!